Hello everybody, I would like to share a great, great idea with you. A few weeks ago on YouTube I discovered this video, which is um, a video that explains how to build yourself a foot switch for less than $10. I will put a link of this video in my description you will see in this video all steps to build this nice foot switch it's really cost only ten dollars it's a numeric keypad as you can see in the little window in the bottom right of the, the screen i have purchased three of them because there is three kind of those numeric keypad the one at the right hand side this one is a bluetooth so you need a top double a battery and you need to pair it with your macbook or your ipad and the, the one in the middle as you can see here i have removed some keys all, all the keys are in this bag and this model it's is not it's a it's not a bluetooth one it's a you need a little dongle like this that you connect into a usb port of your computer so you it's uh, it's not wired it's wireless and you need also a double a battery for this one and this one which i have modified my wife found it that it's ugly <laughs> compared to the to the one on the the youtube channel i simply used a, a plastic uh, this kind of stuff that are is used to uh, the for sale board the, the white for sale board i cut it and i put a velcro that it stick on both sides and I split it into two rectangle here and when I press on those panel this press on two and three keys on the numeric keypad and this one this one is Bluetooth this one is wireless with a dongle and this one is with a wired a wire that you connect into the USB port all of them works on the MacBook and on the iPad on the iPad you can use this kind of thing that you connect to the iPad and you can connect a USB a USB keyboard it's like a mini keyboard but it's only a numeric keypad and the only thing with that is that you have to override your system key so you have to go into the system and override the, the key to entry to send page up and page down so it's not it's not working well for every application you have to override it and maybe you have to go into a, a mail and you want to use two and three keys and uh, you will no longer be able to use those keys because now the, the keys are overridden and they send page up and page down but with music binder pro and also my ipad application music binder for ipad i have made a little modification so you can s go into the preference this is valid also for the ipad application you go in the preferences and you only have to check here use two and three keys as page up and page down and once the, this is checked you can select any action for page up and page down so if you want to use the the switch to start stop 
playback or any any other action you can do it here in music binder you simply have to you select a different action this is the same thing for the ipad application music binder for ipad so you and uh, the advantage of this is that if you go into any other application the two and the three will works the, 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 the key is are all only overridden when it's relevant. So if I go into a note here and I use, I will connect the, I, I prefer this model because it's, it's with a wire and it, it, it does not need any batteries. So I will connect it right now into my USB port. Okay, so if I'm in the note here, I can I can still use two entry, as you can see. But when a song when a song is displayed like this, if I press on it, I can change pages page 3, page 2, and so on. If I have multiple pages like this, so it works very fine. So I will put a link in the description for this video, and um, maybe <laughs> you, can, you can make yourself a, a foot switch, maybe more beautiful than this one, and I challenge my wife. This one is for my wife. She has an iPad Pro, and she will modify this numeric keypad to build herself her own foot switch. So it's like a challenge between me and, and my wife. So in a future future video. I'm going to show you the result of the this one. So that's it for today. Bye-bye.